Today I wanted to introduce the new tool in the tool chest. Uh, it's a professional scan tool by Autel. Um, as you can, uh, uh, whoever follows my channel would know that uh, I did review a bunch of uh, other scan tools. So basically I purchased them and um, after that I realized, uh, you know, I purchased a basic one and then through my works with different cards I upgraded to another one with a little bit more functions and with another one uh, my latest one was the X tool with supposedly with a lot of functions but uh, I was not really happy with X tool uh, in terms of uh, the flexibility uh, reading codes and whatnot um, I don't I, I, I will never recommend X tool to any of my peers or if anybody wants uh, a professional grade uh, uh, ECU scanner. So um, Autel is, I, I think, pretty much it is the hands down company to go for unless uh, you know you go with uh, crazy money, uh, uh, you know, for an OEM dealer only unit, and that can run from twenty thousand onwards. Uh, you can also go with Snap On, and Snap On, I believe, they start from. 7,000 onwards, you know, they, they all have their merits and their uh, capabilities, but uh, I believe Autel is the one that's, uh, when it comes to money and price, uh, that is the tool that uh, uh, that will fit a lot of people's budgets, especially uh, um, the body shop guys or the mechanics or uh, somebody like me. Uh, um, I'm sort of a DIY guy and I love cars. I go through a lot of cars and I try to fix stuff. Now, looking into Autel, the, 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 sh the unit I really wanted was the MS908. Now, I looked around, I even looked at used ones. An MS908, uh, I can get used one for $2,000 and the new one, brand new ones would be about three thousand dollars after the updates and everything um, I was also discussing with a couple of uh, my mechanical mechanic friends and you know people uh, who understands these uh, the professional grade uh, scan tools um, one of them recommended the maxi TPMS um, I think it's TS 708 or TS 908 correct me if I'm wrong uh, which was you know what um, that was a very interesting tool because uh, that did a lot of work and the price was about $950. So I was like, huh, okay, well, um, I think that's uh, close to my budget range because um, by the time I got the X tool inside Canada and with everything else, uh, it was about uh, 650 Canadian. So $950 and a tool that actually does all the work that it specifies, uh, you know what, it's not a bad buy. I was almost ready to pull the trigger and all of a sudden I came across this, the Maxicom MK808. Um, I, um, I came across this uh, in uh, Amazon, Amazon.ca, and they had a sale going on. It was $609 with a $35 rebate, and I'm a Prime member, so I get the free shipping. So long story short, short shipped to my home was $578. And I am pretty happy with this. I am. Uh, it's, it will do exactly all the work that I do now, all the Mercedes and the European vehicles that I have in my arsenal now, plus more. Now this comes with one years of updating, so um, I just updated, uh, I already opened it and turned it on, registered it and updated uh, to, uh, I believe it's the July package of uh, 2018, so all the cars that's going to come, even including the brand new ones, up to July of 2018, I have the update. So I guess by the time I am at the, with, the, with the end of it, I will have the July of 2019. So, and that's where it stops. And the cost of purchasing an update is about six, $700, so which is the cost of a new unit. So you know what? Uh, I think this will uh, do the job for me because I usually don't buy brand new cars. I can't afford them. I'm a car guy. I buy them cheap <laughs> with lots of problems. So usually the cars I buy, they're you know, close to 10 years old at least. So this, I think this will do the job for me. Now let's uh, go with an unboxing. I'm a guy who doesn't want to spoil any of this packaging material. 
Uh, it's a very professional looking box, uh, has bright red hotel written stuff on it. You open this. And what you see is uh, everything is very nicely organized. Uh, I am missing the charging charger and the charging cable. It's just I left it home. Uh, on this bag, what you see is the connector, the OBD connector with the serial port, uh, user's guide, and the unit itself. Let's start with the user's guide. Um, it is very important to follow the step-by-step -step process of registration. Um, you basically have to go to the website. Uh, the serial number of the unit is in this box. I don't really don't want to show you anybody the serial number, but I guess you understand where it is. And then you have to register it uh, to Autel using your email and password and everything like that. Once you're done with that, and only then you can start using the uh, unit. And it's very important that you go through this. Uh, it will teach you a lot more about the unit. I haven't done it yet, but I plan to do so. Next is going to be the cable itself. Uh, it's nothing special, it's just very high quality material. Uh, uh, it's just a cable uh, with an OBD port and a serial port. Now, um, I believe the reason this is cheaper than the TPMXC Com, uh, uh, Maxi TPMS is because it's technically the same unit. It does the exact same job without that Bluetooth unit. Where Maxi TPS, uh, MS is, you know, you connect a Bluetooth dongle uh, at the OBD port and then you walk around the vehicle and do the testing. And uh, this one you have to stay stationary. And to me, uh, it wasn't a big deal. It really wasn't a big deal. Uh, I decided, you know what, that's done. Price is good. The unit itself, uh, typical hotel design, uh, very, very industrial looking. Uh, uh, rubber grips on the side so that you can grip, you, you can have a good grip and also it's a thicker unit. Uh, I, I guess the thing, the reason is uh, when you're a mechanic, you're wearing gloves and whatnot, you can hold it nice and it's necessarily not a light unit like an iPad or whatnot because you want something thick and heavy because when you're working with wearing gloves and stuff uh, when it's thick and thicker and heavier it's easier to hold uh, and the back back side of it you have this uh, stand it's the stand has this rubberized uh, stick material so you can leave it standing wherever and uh, ideally it won't slip because of the st sticky material and that goes back and the top side, uh, this is the, the charging port. And then it's a micro SD card slot um, to expand the memory and others. Um, and if you want to install any third party software, it's a USB, it's a regular USB 2.0, it's not a 3.0, and then the serial cable port. So you basically plug this serial cable in here, screw them in. I kind of don't want to do it because I don't really have a vehicle around me to test it. Ah, I do have a vehicle. It's just, it's outside and it's cold and I'm not interested to do it right now. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. So once you have it charged and everything, uh, you basically click this and you get into an Android-like uh, menu because these uh, units are based on Android. Uh, over here, you have a very basic collection of apps. Uh, all it is geared towards is a scan tool. It's not your tablet. It's not a tablet replacement. You cannot give it to your kids. You can't. You can go to you know, use use a browser to you know browse other website and content, but you know you can't go to Facebook or uh, YouTube and all that stuff. It just doesn't work. It's not designed for that. Um, in these icons, uh, you have the Maxicom. Maxicom is the interface that you know goes to this, the system and whatnot, and then Adobe Reader because a lot of the files inside are PDF, so you should be able to open those files and you know read them. Uh, calculator. Every mechanic needs a calculator. You need a clock, and then the, the download bar. I don't. Oh, download bar. I believe. Uh, I hope somebody's coming. I guess maybe not. I just heard a noise in the back. 
It doesn't work that way. Okay, download bar. Um, I guess uh, once when you download the the updates, it stays over there, and you can check your emails from there. And then functions viewer. I'll come to that. Gallery because you can take uh, you can take uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, snapshot, uh, screenshot, and then send it to the tech guys. And then Maxi Tools. Uh, I'll come to that. Remote desktop. It's basically, uh, let's say you're trying to diagnose a problem and you're stuck. You can actually call Altel customer service, which is 24/7, and they can remotely log into this. Uh, all you have to do is you have to have the unit connected to Wi-Fi, and they can help you diagnose the process. And then, then the system it just takes you to Android, uh, typical Android uh, interface. Uh, I'm going. I'm. I'm going to go with the file explorer. Uh, it's basically, you know, shows you all the files and whatnot. I kind of don't want to go in them. And email, there's no need. I'm going to start with the, the Maxi tools. So this, what this does is, let's say you are doing an operation. Uh, you're trying to, uh, you're doing a live data feed or something like that. It can collect that data. And you can start single collection, or you can loop it every five minutes so that you you know you don't run out of data and whatnot. So it's a very interesting software uh, when you're tuning a vehicle. Uh, uh, you're trying to find all the uh, the timing and how the vehicle is running and all the other variables because there's so many more sensors it can collect data that it's important. Uh, function viewer. Now I have an 05 uh, Nissan Xterra, uh, so I can go with the um, so from this here MS908. You can basically select at the all the whole list of hotel products, and then you select the make and model and year of your vehicle. And once uh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so it's not letting me in. So once you do that, and then click on the vehicle, and then this software will tell you exactly how many sensors that that specific model can read. So I have that, the Nissan Xterra with the MK808, uh, which is the Maxicom uh, product number. And it, it told me exactly how many sensors that I can read. Because obviously, uh, with the different grades of product, uh, you can read different, more or less sensors. But uh, I'm confident that MK808 will do a decent job. Uh, which is, this is a very int interesting function for me. Uh, and I'm going to the new one. Uh, over here, there's basically two menus, and this is a search option. So one. Over here, you have the diagnostic service, shop manager, data, data manager settings, updates, and then function viewer, and the shortcut for that, desktop, uh, a remote desk desktop, um, and then academy. It's basically, it teaches you how to use this product. And this is the Maxifix, is the cloud system. So let's say, you, and support is, let's say when you're stuck, you go in there, it will give you all the options to connect. Now, quick link is an interesting one. It shows you a quick link to Autel website, all data, TPMS, Diagnostic, OBDQ, Haynes Pro, Identity Fix, uh, Mich uh, Mitchell, uh, Nastaf, TST, Autodata, ETI, IATN. I don't know a lot of them, but I definitely know Autel, all data, TPMS, di uh, Diagnostic, Haynes Pro, and Mitchell. So uh, the other problem is you need to be a subscriber for individual units to be able to access to them, and for argument's sake, Mitchell is about 15 grand a year. So, yeah, it's not for me. Now, on the updates, uh, I, I, th these are the updates that I just did. Uh, I pre-selected the updates that I want because there's no point of updating the Cherry car. I don't know if you guys even know, it's a Chinese car company, or Daihatsu. It's not, it will never come in North America. Photon, never heard of them. Uh, GM, Great Wall, this is a Chinese car company. Honda, Hyundai, Lancia, Alfa Romeo, Abarth, I'm not interested. Maserati, I'm not interested. Mazda, it's, 
I downloaded it. MG, not interested. Mini, it's going to download because I came out of home and it's out of Wi-Fi range. OBD, yes. Opal, not interested. Uh, Bacchio Motors? Uh, I don't know. I just updated it. Uh, ben Sprinter. Uh, Citron, they don't come from North America. Daiyu, EU Ford. Gili is another Chinese company. Not needed. Infinity Nissan, yes. Isuzu, uh, not in North America. Jag, I'm not interested. Lexus, Mitsubishi, Porsche, Renault, not, it's not here. Saab, too late. Skoda, not really here. Sengyang, Chinese company, not interested. Volvo, nah, nah. Smart, and Suzuki is not really here. So that's that. Now, when it go to the diagnostic part of it, it's interesting. Now you can, uh, first of all, let's say Ford, Beamer, Peugeot, Saab, you see this download. That means uh, I can, uh, there are new updates for these vehicles and banks, and oh, they have everything, including like where I just saw Bugatti and Bentley. Screw you. So uh, I'm going to finish updating all of those, but I just wanted to show you. Now, what the easiest thing to do is uh, go click on diagnostic and click on that. It the system will figure out everything. Uh, if you're somebody like me, I'll find whatever the vehicle and then click on that, and I guess that cuts down some time, and you go from there. <laughs> and then service. Over here you have these oil reset, uh, uh, all the other functionality which is more than an OBD, uh, just a regular code reader. TPMS, battery, brake bleed, automatic brake bleed, is, it's, oh my God, it's a lifesaver. You know, you don't need to sit in the driver's seat and pump in the pedal while somebody else is trying to bleed their brake. You can just bleed the brake and click this, it will automatically bleed it, it's so cool. Now, and then, then it has the DPF, is a diesel particulate filter. Um, on the newer DPF system, you have to regen the, the filter or else uh, there are a lot of problems that comes with it. So, yeah. Uh, immobilize, ah, emo keys, uh, so basically to pro reprogram a new key and stuff like that. I don't know if it works with every vehicle, but again, it's an option. It will do a lot more than what the X-Tool did. Uh, the injectors, uh, so basically you can cycle the injectors and, and see the performance of the injectors and whatnot. I understand it doesn't work with every vehicle, but uh, I'm still okay with it. The steering control, uh, uh, steering angle sensor, that's what it is. And uh, for the electronic steering, you can reset that. Air suspension, that's a massive deal for me because I'm having problem with my S55 and I just want to find out exactly what I need to do to get it done. Uh, throttle positioning sensor reset, seats, uh, window, roof, I don't get it. Autometer, I don't know what it does, uh, and change language. And on the other hand, it's, it's uh, headlamp, change tire size. Uh, change tire size, uh, you know what, that's a very interesting, uh, very, very interesting system because what happens is, uh, let's say you go with a bigger rim, bigger tires, uh, and in your, in your speedo it's showing you 100, but you're actually doing 105 or 110. That may end up giving you a ticket so it's very, very important when you go a size up or down, nobody goes down, but when you go a size up, to recalibrate your speedo with the tire. I, you know what, <laughs> while I'm talking to you, showing you this, I, I, I never swiped. I just came across that, I'm so excited. I, I have need, I need this. this. This is cool, this is really wonderful. Well, that's, uh, I'm not gonna say this is a comprehensive uh, review, um, I will still say that this is just an open box or uh, something like that because this unit is so much capable of doing stuff, uh, you know, getting you all the data and all the functionality uh, that you need to do uh, in all different uh, vehicles that, uh, you know, it, it, it will take weeks and weeks of content. That's why Autel has their own uh, university to teach people on that. And in any way, I'm not an expert on this. Uh, I'm just a car guy who likes a little bit too much about cars. And 
I wanted to make sure I can uh, do the best with these cars. So hey, I spent the money and uh, got this in. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And um, for the, the existing followers, uh, I am going to host a giveaway. So I will be giving out a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses and the winner will be chosen between uh, December 20th and 24th. It's only a couple of days left. It can be a nice Christmas gift for you. So the winner would be chosen between the per people who uh, liked and subscribed to my channel. So if you have not subscribed, please do and like this video. And if you like it too much, please feel free to share it with any platform that you want. And stay tuned for more upcoming interesting stuff.